A BaseNet Intermedia Group production with stories that will inform, motivate, and inspire you. Now, here's Julie Marie about Los Angeles. Hi, I'm Julie Marie about Los Angeles, and I'm standing here on the bow of the USS Iowa located in the Port of Los Angeles as we remember what happened 12 years ago when the world stopped turning. On the 12th year anniversary, President Barack Obama declared a national day of service and remembrance for the fallen 9-11 service officials. Today on this Patriots Day of 2013, we gather to remember another crew of Patriots, the first responders who fell on September 11. 12 years ago, America was awoken by the devastation of 9-11, and even today, people still remember what they were doing then. I was half asleep. My, my roommate said, Doug, get up, get up. <coughs> so I got up. And I'm looking at this, and it just seems surreal. It just seemed like that can't be. I was home. I just tuned in to the news to see the weather. I was thinking about, I was planning on going to the back east in a short time, and I was just looking ahead, and uh, this was on. And it was just mind-blowing. But despite the disaster, residents say it's a memory that must be remembered. As first responders, uh, you know, Whenever, whenever one of our, our fellow officers goes down, it, it hurts us all, and um, you know it's it's important for us to pay tribute and um, you know appreciate the sacrifices that they made. It's been 12 years, and we don't want people to forget. And I hope that they're doing honoring uh, around the United States, just like we are here on the U.S. Iowa for the next hundred years. This is something that we should never forget. One of my father's uh, big deals was uh, keep America alert. Obviously, we dropped the ball that day, and I'm hoping it doesn't happen again. We as human beings so easily forget, very quick to forget. And, and so remembering some of these things is not so much the sorrow, but to remember so we never do it again. I think as a nation, it impacted all of us. It, uh, one, it uh, made us aware that everybody's has a potential to be a, a, a target and it uh, impacts us fiscally, um, socially, everything I think. So it, it's all, I think it's always good in our mem- minds to not to forget and to and also to commemorate those that uh, perished during that event. Firefighter Eric Allen. The ceremony concluded with the reading of 20 of the names of the heroes who gave their lives on that day, followed by a water display by Fire Station 112. And a moment of silence. While our East Coast brothers and sisters remember what happened in New York City, 12 years ago today, here in the West Coast at Los Angeles Port, we are reminded of all the heroes and patriots who lost their life. Los Angeles.